to Red Glasses Talks. I sure hope you uh, get something out of this time. I believe it's important. Uh, we're kind of relatively uh, unknown, but there are people out there that watch this. And, you know, the way it gets, it gets around is people like you that watch it pass it around. But probably what we're studying here and talking about becoming a person of the Bible, it needs to go to people that maybe don't read their Bible very much. They're Christians. They go to church, but they don't see the importance of getting into the Bible. Uh, they don't know how to. You know, you might want to pass along this series to them. So, Becoming a Person of the Bible, the book. We say that one of the key ways to do that is how we read the Bible. So, so far, we've looked at reading the Bible thoughtfully, repeatedly, patiently, selectively, prayerfully, imaginatively, reflectingly, purposefully, acquisitively, and today, telescopically. Oh, this is a dandy. Okay, so what does it mean to study the Bible um, telescopically? Well, let me read you a story, a true story. Telescopic reading means viewing the parts in the Bible as a whole. In other words, getting the big picture of the book that you're reading in the Bible. Back in Japan, excuse me, back when Japan was dominating the world in consumer products, Sony's president came to Texas to talk about why the Japanese were reluctant to manufacture their goods in the United States. His explanation, they couldn't find American parts that met their quality control standards. Interesting. So take the Sony camcorder. Sony had a production standard that tolerated only one out of a hundred camcorders to fail. That seemed easy to meet until you realize that the device was made up of 2,000 component parts. With that many parts, each one had, a, had, a work, had to work absolutely flawlessly. Perhaps one failure in a hundred or a thousand or even a million in order for the whole unit to meet the standard. You see, the whole was greater, far greater, than the sum of the parts. And in the same way, it's with the Bible, it is not simply a collection of verses and paragraphs and parts. It's an integrated whole with an integrated message. So you got to get the big picture of the Bible, the big picture. So listen to this now. Get the big picture of the Bible, because Bible study, the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. Get the big picture of all 66 books. Then break it down. Get the big picture of the Old Testament. Get the big picture of the New Testament. And then take each book. Get the big picture. The big picture of each book, of each chapter, and each paragraph that you read. Everything will begin to, to come alive to you when you really put some effort and some energy into this. So I'm going to give you uh, some homework to test this out. All right? So let me make a couple comments here. To read a book of the Bible telescopically, you have to get the big picture. So that means you gotta you gotta survey the terrain and you gotta look and look for the big picture, the big theme. So I'm gonna I'm gonna direct you to the book of Judges in the Old Testament. My guess is you probably hadn't read the book of Judges. So you got it waiting for you there, some great lessons that come out of it. So here's what I want you to do as you read the book of Judges. Read the entire book at one setting. It's not that long. Read the whole Bible, oh, excuse me, the whole book of Judges in one setting. Look for the major characters, who are the judges that have been appointed, and, and where they start appearing in the Bible. Very interesting. Next, chart uh, uh, the, the, the book and, the, and that shows where each one appears in the book and how much space is given to each judge. Some judges just might be barely mentioned. Others might have a whole chapter or two written on them. You'll discover that as you go through this. Then, at this point, you will have the big picture of what judges is about. It's a simple process. You got to be willing to sit down, open your Bible, turn all the noise off, and read one book, the book of Judges, and then do those two assignments. And you will begin to get a picture of the whole book and concept and message of the book of Judges 
Then you begin to dig in chapter by chapter, and it's going to make so much more sense. Because you know why? You're reading the Bible telescopically. Do it. <laughs>